So in this video I'm going to be talking about my poster and the decisions I made. To edit my picture I used Photoshop and I basically enhanced the brightness and the contrast to, to give the effect of harsh lighting. So yeah, I think the lighting is really effective and typical convention of film noir. I made sure that there was low key lighting and high contrasts which give and create shadows across faces. I really like how Jake's face is half in light and half in shadow because this suggests that he has two sides to him which he does in our film. At the beginning we see him being very moody and can't be bothered to do anything. And by the end of the film we see that he's a very sensitive boy and really cares about um, Scarlett and his father. I purposefully made the femme fatale a lot darker like around her face um, because I wanted to give a sense of mystery about the character. Doing further research into film posters I feel has really helped to make my poster look more realistic. I feel that my title stands out well and is really easily read by the audience. I really like the reflection that I've added in underneath the title and the slogan of the film um, because I feel that it's very typical of film noir because in their films they have a lot of shadows and a lot of reflections. I also thought it looks different and creates a sense of mystery. From doing further research, I definitely knew that I wanted to have the title at the bottom of my film poster, as I thought that this was obviously a key convention of film posters. I also wanted the small print to be below this and in a smaller font, so not to distract away from the title, but to be big enough so that they can read it. As the actors' names are important, as they can encourage people to watch the film, I definitely wanted this noticeable so that they, the audience can clearly see them. So I made the font white and just above the title. For the colours on my poster, I have a scheme of red and white, as red represents death, blood and evil, and white represents innocence, purity and good. I wanted the heart and mind to be in a red one so it stands out, but also to show the contrast between the two words. Um, but also, the word heart has connotations of red, passion and love. The colour white is to symbolise innocence and good, so the audience have a clue that our storyline is to do with good versus bad. I obviously wanted the image to be dark and low saturation, apart from the red lips and nails, which I increase the saturation to make them stand out, as they are a key feature of the film, especially for the femme fatale's character.